Hey everybody, this is Drill Soul and we're back. Today we're going to be doing epoxy, aka resin. I've seen a lot of that going on and I was like, you know what, let me see what the hype's about, let me try myself. As you can see, I made a couple of pieces and today I'm actually making another piece for a client. And I was like, you know what, why not show you how it's done. These are the materials we'll be using for this. We've got two measuring cups some, uh, I guess we call it hot ink, a black, a white, a little bit of this for uh, the canvas to uh, basically prep it, do a little design. You know, kind of just play with the ideas and techniques. Might not come out, but let's try it out. Gloves, a torch, and a heat gun. So, you guys are ready? Let's get started. All right, so one part is A, and one part is B. A is going to be the resin and the B is going to be the hardener. So we're basically going to mix these two together but you first have to make sure that you have the same ratio. That way it dries as expected and you know you don't have to wait a long time. That's why the hardener and the resin has to be an equal ratio. Keep in mind guys, these two chemicals they eat your skin so you want to wear gloves when you do this. Trust me, I had to learn that lesson already. So now I am combining it into one cup. And then I'm gonna get my stick and I'm gonna mix it around until there's no more bubbles, until it's all clear and mixed into one. And I'm gonna pour it into my cups. Once I do that, I'm gonna put the pigments into the thing. And I didn't even mention it earlier, but all these colors I'm using, they're all acrylic products. From the inks to the spray paint, it's all acrylic, so. It's fast drying. So now I got one of these empty tape circles and I pour it on top. Like I said, I'm just kind of playing with different effects. You know, you just want to play with all sorts of techniques to get the best result, at least in my opinion. Keep in mind I'm doing multiple things. So I'm pouring it over the white and then I'm just kind of letting gravity do its thing. But keep in mind you want to have enough paint that way you can like tilt it around and enough paint will cover your surface. So you go from one corner and then you switch over to the other and keep in mind you're just trying to drag that paint across and cover your surface. Don't worry about the drips and that's why we cover the, the tables and the floors because we want it to drip, we want it to splatter, we want all that stuff. Keep in mind this is a lot about gravity so when you tilt it that's how it works. So keep in mind that there's no right way to do anything. There's no real technique. It's just going with the flow. And if you have some artistic talent, it's still the same thing. Just going with the flow. You know, there's not, not much going on here. It's all about how you blend your colors and how you mix them and how you dry them and how it's secure over time. So once again, I grab it and I'm tilting it over and making sure it's getting dry. So, as you can see, my surface is now pretty much covered and I'm just getting those corners and those little areas that just need to be absorbed with all that paint. And then we do it vertically and like I said, you just want to get through the sides. And then we go with the torch over it. Now keep some distance, you don't want to directly touch the torch because you could still burn your canvas giving it a fresh pour. So you just want to go over it and that's about it. Same thing with the heat gun, don't want to get too close to like a good distance and you can actually push the bubbles, you can get some cells out of that. But overall I'm just using it just to dry the surface. And then I'm adding more loose paint and I'm kind of going back to that crown idea. Like I said, this is just playing with transparency because I do plan to do another pour. Just getting a little bit of designs on. And like I said, there's no right way guys. You can just play with these methods and see what happens. That's kind of what I'm doing here.
All right, guys. So now uh, I'm just gonna let it basically cure for the night, and uh, I will check back with you tomorrow and show you how it looks. All right, guys. So now it's been uh, almost 24 hours, and um, pretty much gonna do another pour. You know, um, I noticed that when you do more than one. You actually get a cool like effect out of it, and you got some transparency from the underlayer. At the same time, the thickness does add on to it. It just makes it much more, uh, much more of a presence. I don't even see on this one. Like for instance, this one right here, I did two pours. When I first did the first one, it looked kind of cool, but then the second one, it really just brought everything together. And you know, just a really nice piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it another pour on this one. And tomorrow I'll show you basically the end results of that pour. All right, so we're gonna do another layer. And I added some white, a lot of it. And then I went back with some pink and kind of just went over it and flowed with it. And then we're gonna tilt it again. So like I said, just go in the flow. So we go to one corner to another corner and we cover the surface. So we're going to go over again with the torch. And get the hardening process started and it's almost curing to its fullest. Once again, I'm going to add another crown. It's multiple crowns. At this point, my camera died. But I ended up grabbing some more sticks with black and pink and kind of splattered it around with that same feel, kind of just going with that flow, guys. And from there, I tilted it and did the torch, and that's where we're at right now. But yeah, guys, just let gravity do its thing, and that's basically how I achieved that look. I'll be doing more videos in the near future. Stay tuned. So this is the final product. Uh, I'm sorry, my battery died right on my last pour. So uh, basically, I had a lollipop stick and I just flung around the canvas and made patterns. And then I went over with the torch and the heat gun, and that's how basically I did it. But in between, I put a little bit of glitter, so you might see a little bit of that coming out. And like I said, guys, that's basically how I approached it. And you too can achieve this look. So I will be probably doing more epoxy videos in the future, so be on the lookout for that. And uh, like I said, guys, thank you so much. And please press like and subscribe.